cube. So last night I put just a little bit more yeast in my uh, mead. I noticed it wasn't foaming up like it normally does. And I didn't add a shit ton more, just a little bit more, you know. Not a whole lot, but just a little bit more. And then I added another cap full of yeast nutrients. And I'm going to strain the meat out on the 25th of September. It'll be about 13 days from yesterday. Should be a tasty little mead, man. It won't be done till like, Halloween. You know, I have a nice big old jar of chocolate banana flavored honey wine. That'll be, uh, should be interesting to say the least, but I'm looking at it right now. And now I can see little fermentation bubbles. Because last night I wasn't seeing it, you know. Normally after you pour the, a little bit of yeast in there, like it's just turbo yeast within a couple of fucking hours, you'll see it start to do its thing. And last night I wasn't seeing it, so I was like, what the fuck? I just woke up and I got like eye boogers in my sh shit. Hold up a second. Yeah, that's gross. Like the Sandman visited my ass. But no, after last night, I did put a little bit more of that turbo yeast in there that I used the first time around when I pitched it. And now I'm starting to see a fermentation line. I can see a line of fermentation bubbles at the top where the bananas are floating. I can see that shit from here. And I'm like, all right, all right, all right, all right. Now the mead's doing its thing. Sweet. So that should be a tasty little honey wine. You know what I'm saying? Great flavor combination. Reese's peanut butter cups. And bananas. Why, why not? You know, Reese's has those frozen banana treats that are fucking delicious. So that's the good news of this video. Now that I got it. I did add, like I said... It wasn't a whole lot, you know, but I did pour a little bit more in there. Not a whole, like, shit ton, like, ugh, you know, just a little, sh 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 done. But now I can see the fermentation line at the top. You know, I didn't pour so much goddamn yeast in there that that's gonna, that's gonna <laughs> into the airlock, and no, I'll fuck that. But now I can see a fermentation line at the top of the jar. So I'm like, alright, now we're cooking with gas. Bad news, I found out that Jessica Boyle is basically basically e-begging for another trip to Casper. And I'm like, could this bitch take a fucking hint? No, I broke up with her, I told her this the first time around. And the only t reason why I let her in the first time is because I made a mistake. I made a fucking mistake. She had alcohol. She's like, can we just talk about the like, mature adults, please? Uh, uh, fuck it. You know? I'm not taking her back, but fuck it. I'm not going to let, let her burden my fans with this whole, oh, could you buy me a hotel room, please? Uh, fuck it. She literally went on her fucking Facebook and she was like, I'm going to go live on my Twitch so I can get money to make another trip to Casper and hotel, etc. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, would you fucking take a hint? We broke up, you stalker psycho bitch. Jessica Boyle is mentally fucking deranged. She's got mental problems. She said so herself on her fucking channel. And when I repeat the information that she said on her fucking channel, I'm going to ask all of her bringing up her personal information. She doesn't have that mental disconnect. Fucking completely psychotic. Uh, it's not gonna happen a second time. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me kind of thing, you know? No, I'm not having it. I told Jessica, boy, we broke up, but she thinks, oh, please, we can make it work out. I'm like, no, fuck you. You fool me without my consent. And then on top of that, you push me to my breaking point with your mental bullshit. Then you lie to me about how long you've been streaming, you know? Fucking Chris tells Courtney she's hanging out with me. 
instead of ignoring it, what does she do? She secretly records me while we're hanging out on her live Instagram live. It doesn't tell me she's recording a video. What kind of fucking dumb shit is that? And now, people found out because of her. Uh, she, she doesn't fucking think. You know? I'm sick of this shit. Everybody wants to accuse me of stalking my former crushes. And I, I would never do some shit like that, you know? You fucking kidding me? You know? And then once you, you, you witness actual stalking, nobody gives a shit. Because I'm a guy. I'm a dude. They, they, they look at me and go, how is it stalking when, you know, have you heard what the feminazis are saying? All men are rapists, perverts, and creeps. So only men are cap capable of doing it, I guess. Fuck you. God. So here's my new cell phone. It's not ready yet. It's had to redo the case with some spray paints because the, the case itself I didn't like the color of it you know I didn't I'm not gonna fucking waste 50 60 bucks for a new fucking iPhone case and when I got a room full of spray paint you know what I'm saying I put some painters tape on the inside of it and just did the outside of it it looks cool I like the way I did that However, I'm not going to be able to do anything with it until Monday because it's one of my family members' old phones. Greatly appreciated on that. And I tried to reset the phone, delete everything, and then upload my old phone to that. It wasn't having it. So I'm going to take it into uh, the cell phone store and have them work their magic on it. But I'm not able to do that until Monday. Which I don't mind waiting, it's, you know, I ordered a refurbished cell phone from the website I normally get it from, and this is the first time in a, that I've ever had a problem with it. The phone I ordered will not turn on, and when it does turn on, it shuts itself off. I'm like, well, this is karma for all the phones I've broken. So I'm calling around asking my family, or my friends, or whoever, and my family manages to dig up a very very old iPhone but it's newer than the one I have so I'm like yeah what are you gonna do you know beggars can't be choosers at least they won't be like unlocked and refurbished so it'll probably work a little bit better you know and it's like well I kinda need the cell phone because I uh, gotta do cameo shout outs and shit and conveniently, I forgot my iTunes password, so I want to reset that. Uh, I appreciate y'all booking the cameo shout-outs, man. If I can't get to it by the time I get my phone fixed, I will give the ones I missed a free shout-out for their troubles. Because I appreciate people booking me on cameo, you know. Fucking Christ. It's the weekend, and I am out of... Actual cigarettes I found, a couple cigar butts and bags, you know, like a, tubes, you know, and I, I broke them up into a bag. I'm like, there you go, Vacha Delight, that's what I call that. <laughs> now, about circling back to this Jessica Boyle bullshit, I broke up with her. Every time she comes to Casper, there's always drama fighting and the cops showing up to my place. She got me kicked out of my last fucking apartment, granted. Okay, I'll extend an olive branch. It's not it's not it's not all completely Jessica's fault. The trolls didn't help the situation by harassing the conquistadors nonstop for the last six years. So fuck that. And last time Jessica Boyle was here, she saw, and I quote, the beer bottle on my shelf that I collected. And she's like, well, what kind of flavor of beer is this? And I said, it's chocolate flavored beer. It's my new favorite beer. She goes, I want to try some. And there's this one liquor store I could order it from via DoorDash. But that liquor store is out of stock. You know? So I'm like, oh, what are you going to do? So I told Jessica, I says, I'll buy you a four pack of it when you get back to Virginia. And like a man of my word, I did that. And you know what she did? 
She threw it in my fucking face. Buy me beer is not an apology, you manipulative blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, if anyone is manipulative, it's Jessica fucking Boyle, and she refuses to fucking see it. She's literally delusional to her own fucking reality. Oh, God damn, it's the weekend, and I can't go live until I get my phone fixed. Ugh. I want some alcohol, I want some cigarettes, but that's just going to have to wait, I guess. Well, as far as the alcohol goes, I'm broke, so I'll have to wait until I get some more money. And, uh, huh, the jar of banana Reese's peanut butter cup mead is not going to be done until Halloween. I'm going to filter it out on the 25th or 26th. You know, just, just, just the liquid part. Everything else is going to stay in there, you know. I do enjoy making my own mead. It's, it's quite a fun little hobby, you know. When it's all said and done, I'm going to have a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Banana Mead that will be like 18% alcohol by volume, which is a little bit stronger than your traditional meads. But uh, yeah, it should be tasty. Like, can you believe this shit after all the horrible crap Jessica accused me of doing? You know? And now she wants to make another trip back to Casper when we all know why she's coming back. Because she wants this, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not having it. And I'm not having it. And I'm not having it. And she thinks in her delusional mind that, okay, if you give me sex and clean my, my house, then I want to take you back. You're as fucking delusional and psychotic as my YouTube trolls, dear. Fuck off. Oh, I, I made that video standing up for myself, being like, don't believe any of her bullshit, you know? She called one of my friends through her phone, started fighting with me while I'm at my friend's house trying to enjoy their company. Why'd you make that nasty video about me? And I'm like, excuse me? It wasn't a nasty video. I was standing up for myself. I can't tell if she's my biggest troll or if she really likes me because this bitch is psychotic. Jessica Boyle has borderline personality disorder. And she's very self-deprecating. She craves the attention the internet gives her. But then when it blows up in her face, she can't handle it. And she sees how much attention I get, so part of her, and her fucked up little deranged, fucking psychotic fucking mind, she's like, ooh. But then when she fucking pushes it too far, she can't fucking handle it. And Jessica Boyle's the kind of person that will push your buttons, and push you to your limits, and then play victim, or act concerned, when it goes too far. You know? It's psychotic, it's manipulative, and she does it for attention of her clout and to get people to feel sorry for her. And I'm so fucking sick of it. Sick of it. And then I did call the cops on her when she showed up. And the cop took the, you know, because I, I called the non-emergency number. And when the cop did show up the first time, Jessica Boyle acted like she was hurt. She's like, I can't believe you would do that. And I'm like, bitch, I fucking told you. If you show up to my fucking house, it's going to happen. I told her we broke up. I told her I do not want to fucking see her. And if you come to my house, you're basically stalking me at this point, and you will be dealt with. But the first time the cops showed up, me and Jessica were drinking. We were getting along, so I figured, yeah, you know, maybe she's matured a bit. Maybe we can handle this like mature adults. <laughs> but was I fucking wrong? You know, when Jessica Boyle's being suicidal on a fucking stream and the fucking cops show up to her house, she'll flip out and be like, it's bullshit, I'm sick and tired of the cops being called on me, blah, blah, blah. But then, huh, she does it to me, accusing me of the same shit and other things as well, things that I would never do. She is such a fucking hypocrite, dude.
It's like Jessica Boyle wants to accuse me of being abusive, and yet somehow she still wants to plan a trip out here to Casper. Fuck her, dude. Insufferable. You know, I get depressed. And, uh, you know, making my homemade mead, it gives me a hobby outside of everything else that I can do that, you know what I'm saying, staring at the jar like, ooh, I hope it tastes good. I hope it gets me drunk. The key is to put enough yeast in there to where you get a fermentation line, but the foam doesn't just... Build up into your airlock kind of thing. Because too much yeast will fucking do that. But that the point. No, I'm fucking sick of it, dude. I'm not caving a second time. After all the bullshit I went through last time I caved. I'm like, no. You know? And it's like, okay, if I'm such a piece of shit person, how come you, you don't see any bruises on her face or anything like that? You know, because Jessica Boyle is full of fucking shit. And I told this fucking slag, we broke up, leave me alone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can't handle her psychotic bullshit. I mean, I know I've got mental problems, but Jesus Christ is a cunt. Jessica Boyle makes me look sane in comparisons. I can't fucking stand her, dude. It's a roller coaster of emotions. And I shouldn't have to put up with it. And you know, it goes up and it's like, okay, when Jessica Boyle's not being a complete fucking psycho cunt, she's decent enough to get along with. But then, and when she's down here, it's like, you want, you know what I'm saying? You can't handle it. And I'm like, no, no, fuck that. I can find a girlfriend here in town in her 20s that's way fucking harder, that has way less drama and way less psychotic bullshit. I don't deserve this crap. You know? And it's like, if Jessica Boyle really loved me, she would give me my fucking space. Wake the fuck up. And when I called her on her stalking the first time, and I quote, she said this, it's not stalking, Josh, because I love you. Fuck off. That's not how it works for guys. If I tried pulling that crap with one of my exes, or one of my ex-crushes, I would be in jail for stalking, dude. Get the fuck out of here. A fucking Courtney messaged message my ass. Did you see what Jessica posted on her Facebook? And I'm like, yeah, 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 I fucking saw. I fucking saw what was going on. Update on deathbed tapes. I'm not going to be able to put the uh, record on vinyl because the album's too long. And some of the beats I used are copyrighted. Even though it said free in the title. So that's a bit misleading. You know? And it's not like deathbed tapes isn't going to upload the entire album to YouTube. We'll be able to listen to it for free anyways. So I'm, I'm going to have to get permission from uh, the copyrighted beats. And, uh, you know, so it's not that big of a deal. But the album now is going to be on tapes as usual, and it'll include uh, Chainsaw Sicko Massacre on vinyl, which is a song I wrote about massacring sex pests with a chainsaw. Yeah! Similar to Bell Tower Bashing, which is a song about smashing sickos, sex pest skulls, unlike church bells and shit. That's a bit gruesome if you think about it, but anyways, I digress. Looking forward to trying that fucking mead. It's going to be delicious. I think on Halloween, that'll be a nice little Halloween treat for me, man, you know. If I don't have any money to go to the bar on Halloween in my costume... I'm more than likely going to stay at home and drink because it's less fucking drama. <laughs> uh, 
And you know what it is? My YouTube trolls are too old to trick or treat, and they're not old enough to go to the bar and drink. So when they see Cobra having a good time, oh, well, 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 we can't stand that. You know what I'm saying? We can't stand that. Oh, we can't stand that. That's why I avoid filming at the bars anymore. And if I do film a video at the bar, it's about the food, and then I don't get anything else in the shop but me and the food. Me and the food. That's it. You know? That or my trolls are too broke to go out and drink on Halloween, so they, they take it out on Cobra. And last night, I did talk to my fans on Discord because I was feeling a little depressed about the whole Jessica situation and just life in general. And, you know, they were here for me, and I appreciate that. But, like, you know what I'm saying? Jessica Boyle going on Facebook saying the only reason she's going live on Twitch is so she can make money to come stalk me some more. That is e-begging 101. You should go live on your social media platforms because you want to entertain your fans and because you enjoy doing it, not because you want to make fucking money. This is why, you know, when I ask people to donate to my cash app or PayPal, I'm like, here's where you can do it. You don't have to, but if you do, it's greatly appreciated. Versus Jessica flat out just saying, well, yeah, this is the only reason, you know. And I'm like, fuck that shit, dude. No, I, I fucking can't stand Jessica, dude. She's the worst. You know, you gotta walk on eggshells around her. You gotta be patient with her. Because she's got mental problems. And fuck what anyone says. I would never hit a woman unless she had a gun to my head. You know? I like how Jessica Boyle was telling me how to work my... Sh asking me, how, how do you work your shotgun, you know? She was telling me how to... I messed that up. Hold up. Ooh, retract. I jumbled my words. No, but Jessica Boyle was asking me how to work my shotgun so she could blow her brains out. And I told her, I said, you're not doing that in my house. You're not doing that to my fucking gun. Fuck you. Knock it off. No, it pissed me off. I bought her a four-pack of the Samuel Smith Organic Chocolate Stout. That is the best fucking beer I've ever had in my life. It's made in jolly old Yorkshire, England. Which made me spurg super hard because I love British culture. Yeah! And, uh, you know, when I got a little bit of money in my PayPal, I thought, you know what, I'll send her a fucking four-pack because I said I would. Being a man of my word. And then instead of going on Facebook and saying, well, thanks to whoever said the beer bottoms up, you know what she said? Sending me beer is not an apology, but oh well, bottoms up. And I'm like, really? 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 You know, yeah, I will apologize for yelling at her, but you know what? In my defense, you can piss Jessica off or get her in a mood when she's drinking, or, or in general, you know what I'm saying? She's like a ticking time bomb. I don't know what the fuck's going to piss her off and what doesn't. And you know what I'm saying? It's bullshit. You know? We're sitting there watching Tombstone the movie. All I wanted to do was sit down and watch Tombstone with her. And Jessica Boyle is so fucking ADHD, she can't just sit down and fucking watch a movie. Asking me a million questions, I'm like... And that's why I tell her, you don't know, you, you, okay, Western guns work just like any other gun. You put bullets in the chamber, you cock the mechanism, and you pull the trigger, and it goes bang. And we were both, I, and you know what? My stupid ass got an, a big old bottle of Jack Daniels to share with her, because I figured, you know, let's cuddle on the couch with a little bit of whiskey and watch a Western movie. The ending to that movie is so perfect. For like a date night kind of thing, you know, Wyatt, Wyatt Earp comes in, see Josephine. At the end of the movie, he's like, I don't know how we're going to make the money. I have no dignity and no pride. And then he tells her, you know, you've seen the movie, you know what's up. I thought, brilliant. But no, she, and I'm like, so I'm like, I, I've seen the movie a million times. She's not paying attention to it because she can't. Just sit down 
and watch a movie. And you know what kills me about that? Jessica Boyle is like obsessed with Bjork. Bjork's her favorite singer. Can't get enough of her. And I gotta be honest with you. Uh, I think Bjork's music is shit. It's not my cup of tea. But Jessica wants me to listen to her so badly. So I'm like, you know what? I'll listen to her for the sake of the arguments. I didn't ask a million questions. You know what I'm saying? I didn't crap all over her fucking whatever. I gave Bjork a chance because it's what she's into. It's what she's all about. You know what I'm saying? And she, she can't extend the same olive branch to me. You know? No, it's bullshit, dude. I'm tired, of Je I'm tired of Jessica Boyle's bullshit. I fucking feel sorry for Bjork. Because Jessica Boyle is one of her biggest fans. Ugh, dude. At Bjork. <laughs> no. No, it's bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. Jessica Boyle's a bigger fucking alcoholic than I am. And she can't handle her shit like I can. You know? And just Jessica Boyle would drink every day if she could afford it. That's the thing of it. But she can't. And she can't handle her shit. She gets to a point where she blacks out and then fucking... She becomes a complete fucking psycho cunt slag whore bitch. Slut. Minge. Fuck off. It was fucking frustrating, man. I told Jessica we broke up. And if I have to get a restraining order, I will. Because I'm not playing this crap. I fucking told Jessica we broke up and she won't take the fucking hints. Like, and when Jessica Boyle's pissed off at me, she does the absolute worst to me. But then the next day, she'll take it back and be like, I'm sorry, Josh, I was just angry at you. I didn't mean to do it. Bullshit. And you know what kills me about the whole thing, YouTube, is I would never call the cops on Jessica for anything. Unless I knew she was physically going to hurt herself or, you know, or like hurt somebody else. You know what I'm saying? You know, Jessica Boyle wants to fight with me on camera while she's going live on her stupid fucking Instagram. And it caused all this drama and bullshit. And it's like, here's a thought. It's just, just a thought from my perspective. Put the fucking camera down. Say, hey guys, sorry, I fucked up. I gotta go. Me and Josh are gonna talk about this like mature adults. But no, she doesn't do that. She literally does all this crap for, for the drama and for the attention on her social media. And when people see how fucking awful she is as a person, it bites her in the ass. And I'm fucking tired of it, YouTube. I want some cigarettes and I want some goddamn alcohol. It's the fucking weekend. You know, I just gotta figure out a way to make that happen, you know? get my new album done. I've got like two more songs left and I've created so many songs up to those last two that I'm kind of burnt out on the songs. So I've got to recharge my creative juices. And like I said, the new album's too long for a vinyl record, so it's going to be on tape, I guess. And we'll include a vinyl of, you know, the song about massacring sickos with a chainsaw kind of thing, you know. So there you go. But that's the scoop of the situation. And if you think Jessica Boyle's the absolute worst, she's a creepy stalker, psycho cunt, and you agree with everything I'm saying, and you like what I'm digging and laying down, hit the like button, subscribe for more. And uh, if she thinks we're getting back together, she is so fucking delusional. And you know what she tried asking me? You're not fucking other chicks in your house, are you? And even if I was, it's none of your fucking business. Because we are broken up. We broke up. And when I told my dad about the situation, he was not happy about it, dude. He was like, no, dude, that's bullshit. You told her not to show up to your house. You told her we broke up. She did it anyways. Despite the fact she said she wasn't going to do it. That's the kicker of it. 
that she, Jessica Boyle said, I would never show up to your place without your permission. And then she does it anyways. Come on, dude, I'm sick of it. I'm fucking sick of it, dude. Sick of it. I want to say I appreciate my family and my fans and my friends for always being there in case I need someone to talk to or vent, you know what I'm saying? And just let it all out. You know, I ordered some Taco Bell last night, so I'm probably going to have the Chalupa I didn't eat last night, so there you go. I'll have that for lunch when I get hungry. Have something in my stomach. I, I I don't eat that much anymore, you know. I just yeah. I try to eat at least one thing a day though, so I'm not completely starving myself. And the reason why I took so long to shout out all my Cash App and PayPal shout outs is because, you know, it's not about the money. It's about the connection I have with my fans. But anyways, YouTube, hope you all have on a bitchin' Friday or have one at least and I'll catch you cool cobras later.